Gonken National Museum. Learning resource of the Upper Northeastern Region. The Northeastern Region, or Isan, is a vast high plateau divided into two areas by the Pupan mountain range. Upper Isan, or what is called Sakon Nakon Basin, and Lower Isan, or the Korat Basin. Geological evidence tells us that Upper Isan is a very ancient area, dating to around 200 million years ago. Fossils of dinosaur skeletons and footprints aged about 130 to 170 million years were found at sites such as Puyang of Gonken Province, Pufek, and Pukungkau of Galasin Province. Humans appeared in this area during the Mesolithic period or Middle Stone Age of some 10,000 years ago. They were nomads and sustained themselves by hunting. Their tools were chopping stone implements found on the Mekong bank of the Changhan district, Lui province, and at Don Tan district, Nakon Phnom province. The rugged stone tools from these sites developed up to the time of the New Stone Age into polished stone tools. Later, around 3,000 years ago, man began to use metals such as iron and bronze for making tools. They no longer moved around and began growing crops, domesticating animals, weaving and making pottery for use in daily life and funeral ceremonies. They also created paintings on the walls of caves and rock shelters, depicting rituals and beliefs. There are many important prehistoric sites in the Isan region, including Non Nok Ta and Non Mueng archaeological sites in Gongken, Ban Chiang site in Udon Thani, and Ban Sang Du site in Sakon Nakon. Upper Isan entered the historical period almost 2,000 years ago, with the appearance of a civilization influenced by the Tawa Rawadi culture from the central region. Tawa Rawadi, a Hinayan Buddhist culture, flourished during the 7th to 10th centuries. Many ancient cities, which were circular and surrounded by moats and ditches, have been found, along with monuments and artifacts. These include the city of Fadad Songyang in Kamalasai district, Galasin province. The city of Dong Meng Em in Khao Suan Kwang district, Gongken province. And the city of Don Gao in Kum Pawapi district, Udon Thani province. The Tawa Rawadi art of Isan was influenced by Indian Buddhist art of the Gupta, Post-Gupta and Palasena periods, assimilated into the indigenous style. Today, the only remains of Tawa Rawadi architecture in Isan are the brick bases of old structures. We can get an idea of the structural designs, however, from decorative carvings on existing boundary stones. Marking religious areas with boundary stones is considered a unique characteristic of the Tawa Rawadi culture of Isan. There were several accepted ways to place boundary stones, each with a different symbolism. Groups of stones or stones placed at the points of a compass delineated a sacred area. A stone standing alone usually depicts an image of worship or a stupa. Groups of boundary stones in the Tawa Rawadi style mixed with the Khmer art style of the 11th century were found at Wat Non Sila Art and Wat Pra Budapat Puapan, Banpur district, Udon Thani. Tawa Rawadi baked clay votive tablets were generally found near the monuments and the art styles were mostly inspired by those of the central region mixed with indigenous art. 
The most interesting votive tablets are from Nardun district, Mahasarakab, and Mueng Fadad Songyang, Galasin, and include embossed silver plates depicting Buddha images and religious symbols from the Umyaku ancient monument, Kantarabichai district, Mahasarakam. Khmer influences began to appear from the 7th century, as evidenced by a stone inscription written in the Pallava alphabet in the Sanskrit language, found at Dongmueng M, Khao Suan Guang district, Gongken, praising Kin Chittisen of Khmer Chenla Empire. Khmer culture spread throughout the region during the 11th and 12th centuries. The evidence includes ancient monuments, for example, Prasat Boinoi in Gongken, sculptures of Vishnu from the sanctuaries of Gu Buamat and Gu Noi, Nardun district, Mahasarakam, a stone inscription from Sala Nangkao sanctuary, Nardun district, Mahasarakam, a lintel depicting the Hindu god Indra riding the elephant Erawan from Prasat Ban Moi, Nong Song Hong District, Gongken. In the 13th century, Khmer influence in Isan continued. Several structures built by King Shai Waraman VII have been found, including the Mahayan Buddhist Arokayasala, or ancient public hospitals, at Gu Prapachai Sanctuary, Nanpong District, Gongken, the sanctuaries of Gu Santarat and Gu Buamat, Nadun District, Mahasarakam, and a stone inscription found at Gu Keo Mueng District, describing the construction of the Arokayasala. Also found were objects used in ritual ceremonies, for example, Hindu god images, mirrors, bronze implements, and Lotbari style grey and brown glazed ceramics from the kilns at Ban Kruat District, Buri Ram. Khmer influence in Isan decreased with the fall of the Khmer Empire and completely vanished from the region in the 14th century. In 1527, King Poti Salarat of Luang Prabang Laos built the Sata Mahasatan Shrine at Wat Pra Tat Bang Puan in today's Mueang district, Nongkai province. King Chai Che Tathirat later moved the capital from Luang Prabang to Vientiane during the years 1550 to 1572 and conducted a major renovation of Pra Tat Bang Puan Shrine. In 1560, the rulers of the two kingdoms, King Chai Che Tathirat of Lang Chang and King Maha Chakrapat of Ayutthaya, built the stupa celebrating their pact of mutual respect and defense. King Wong Satam Mikharat of Laos, 1598-1622, commissioned many Buddha images lined in silver and gold to be contained inside the Pra Tat Bang Puan Shrine. In 1695, after the death of King Surya Wong Satam Mikharat, a riot broke out in Laos, sending many Laotians across the Mekong River to Isan, Immigration continued to the beginning of the Bangkok period, the late 18th century, until Upper Isan became a densely populated area. Most Lan Chang art was related to Buddhism and was similar to that of Isan. Artworks included stupas for relics of the Buddha, temples, Buddha footprints, pulpits, Buddhist scripture boxes, bronze Buddha images, Buddha images lined in silver and gold, and wooden Buddha images. In about the 19th century, the history of Gongen province began. The name Gongen might derive from Pra Pat Kam Gen, a stupa built over the dead heartwood of a tamarind tree. This stupa was regarded as a symbol of the province because of a legend which said that a relic of the Lord Buddha, en route from Pra Tat Panom, in today's Nakhon Phnom province, stopped here. In 1767, King Rama I of Bangkok appointed Pia Mueng Pen as the first governor of Gongken. 
with the title of Prayasi Borirak. The city of Gongen was established at the location of Ban Bung Bon village and has been developed up to the present. The folk art of Isan includes structures such as temples, houses, pulpits and so on. Textiles including silk ikats and silk brocades, pottery, weaving and traps, musical instruments like the ken or large mouth organ of Lao origin, stringed instruments, drums, small cymbals, large cymbals and motes or small mouth organs. The ken is considered a typical musical instrument of Isan. It produces a beautiful tone, like wind in a wide rice field. Ken can be played by more ken, as a solo instrument, as part of an ensemble, or as an accompaniment to an Isan folk singer, more lam. The Department of Fine Arts built the Gongen National Museum in 1967 as a center to collect, preserve and exhibit art objects and antiques of the upper northeast region. His Majesty the King presided over the opening on December the 20th, 1972 and it has been open to the public since then. The exhibition features local accounts of Upper Isan regarding geography, history, archaeology, folk culture and ethnology. The objects and information relating to the subjects are presented chronologically in an interesting fashion. The Konken National Museum hopes the exhibition will be a resource for visitors to learn more about the cultural heritage of this part of Thailand and asks for cooperation in conserving it. <laughs>